Hello and welcome to Book Club on the Go, the podcast where we explore one book at a time. Today we dive into a great book by Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People. This classic book written by Dale Carnegie has been inspiring people for decades and it's still relevant today. It's a guide to better communication and relationships, and it's packed with wisdom that can be applied in our personal and professional lives. So let me ask you this, have you ever found yourself struggling to connect with others? Have you ever wanted to make a good impression, but just couldn't seem to get it right? If so, then this book is for you. Think of it like a toolbox for building better relationships. Carnegie shares his insights and tips on how to make people like you, how to get others to trust and respect you, and how to handle difficult situations with grace and ease. One of my favorite chapters is Six Ways to Make People Like You. Carnegie says that people are more likely to like you if you are genuinely interested in them, so he provides tips on how to show interest, how to make people feel important, and how to find common ground. It's all about putting yourself in other people's shoes and making them feel valued. Another chapter I'd like to highlight is Win People to Your Way of Thinking. Carnegie shares the art of persuasion and how to influence others without being pushy or manipulative. He stresses the importance of listening to others, finding common ground, and being patient and understanding. I think it's important to mention the chapter, Be a Leader. This chapter teaches us how to be an effective leader and how to make change happen in a positive way. Carnegie emphasizes the importance of praise, appreciation, and understanding. He says that a sincere smile and a positive attitude can go a long way in making people like you and making them feel comfortable around you. He talks about how to avoid criticism because criticism only breeds resentment and creates negative feelings. He suggests finding the good in others and focusing on that instead. He also emphasizes the importance of understanding other people's perspectives and putting yourself in their shoes. He says this is a key component in building strong relationships. People love to talk about themselves and their interests, and when you listen to them, they are more likely to like you and trust you. He also says that active listening is the foundation of effective communication. Carnegie says that people respond well to praise and appreciation and that this is a powerful tool for building relationships and influencing others. He says that if you can arouse an eager one in someone, they are more likely to be influenced by you. He suggests finding ways to tap into people's motivations and desires in order to gain their support and cooperation. He talks about expressing appreciation and gratitude is a simple and powerful way to build relationships and influence others. Carnegie emphasizes the importance of becoming genuinely interested in others, their interests, and their experiences. He says that this is a key factor in building strong relationships and making friends. How to Win Friends and Influence People is a book that can benefit people from a wide range of backgrounds and professions. Here are a few examples of who might find this book useful. Number 1. Salespeople Carnegie's tips and insights on communication and persuasion can be particularly helpful for those in sales who need to build strong relationships with clients and persuade them to buy their products or services. Number 2. Leaders Whether you're a manager, CEO, or aspiring leader, the book provides valuable insights into how to build strong relationships and influence others. You'll learn how to communicate effectively and lead by example. Number 3. Entrepreneurs This book provides practical advice on how to build relationships with customers, partners, and investors. You'll learn how to communicate your vision and ideas in a way that inspires and motivates others. Anyone looking to improve their relationships, whether you're looking to improve your relationships with friends, family, or colleagues, the book provides practical tips and insights into how to communicate effectively and build strong relationships. Overall, How to Win Friends and Influence People is a book that can benefit anyone looking to improve their relationships and communication skills, regardless of their background or profession. In conclusion, How to Win Friends and Influence People is a timeless classic that can help you improve your relationships and become a better communicator. Whether you're looking to build stronger relationships with friends, family, co-workers, or clients, this book has something for everyone. So, I encourage you to give it a read and start putting these principles into practice. That's all for today's show. 
We hope you enjoyed our discussion. Remember, this podcast is all about exploring one book at a time. If you want to dive deeper and better understand the book, we recommend picking up a copy and reading it yourself. Make sure to tune in next week when we discuss another book. Don't forget to subscribe and review our podcast to help us reach more book lovers like you. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you in the next episode. Until next time, stay curious.